Hey, what's up guys? Nunu here. In today's video, I'll show you how you can make stylized images like this one using Lumion. The process is quite simple and if you stick around, I'll tell you how you can get this Lumion scene for free so you can make your own low-poly stylized art renders. And before we start, don't forget to give me a thumb up, subscribe and click the bell button to get notified when my new videos go live. To make this scene, I started by gathering a lot of reference images from places in Greece to have an idea of what I was going to make. I've made just a rough sketch of what I had in mind using all those references. Then after this I started by modeling these very basic shapes. All the elements as you can see are low poly. Here I'm just cutting the geometry for the windows. I think these pergolas give a very nice touch, so I added one. For the stairs, I lowered the middle part of each step, and then I adjusted the rotation as well, to give some aging to them. This adds to the realism, even though it's low poly. I want to have a tree just by the front door, so here I'm adding the bark, branches and leaves. I started adding some props, By the way, you can also check my other Lumen videos, I'll give a link to it in the top right corner. Now I'll add the low poly model rocks. So now we have our scene here inside Lumion. And the first thing I'll do, I'll set up my camera. So I'll go to the render and basically in the in the render you have to go way back like this okay and then you have to go to the focal length and adjust about 60 okay and go down so this way you have a more uh, isometric view not and not uh, perspective and more or less like this let me see which one and this one is better so something like this is fine. Just remove this. And for the preset, I'm going to select this one, the realistic one. Uh, I'm not going to touch anything else for now. Let's go back to build. Now let's start putting some materials. And you'll see that uh, these materials will be um, very, very basic. Okay, it will be most of them just with a flat color and that's it. So let's start by this uh, plane to be our, our world. So let's go to standard and uh, let's see, color can be this one. Then I'm going to re remove a little bit the gloss about here and increase the reflection about here. Okay. This one, I want the dark color like Let's see, reduce the gloss here and the reflection as well, and uh, not so dark, maybe, okay, I think like this is fine for now. This uh, water, I'm going to select nature, water, and I'm going to go to here to blue ocean, okay. Now we need to adjust the parameters here, so this foam, let's reduce to about here, wave scale not wave scale, uh, wave height, let's see, like this, wave scale, let's see, like this it's fine, just going to reduce this a little bit, and uh, glossiness, uh, I think it's fine like this as well, caustics, it's okay, just going to increase this a little bit, Bring back a little bit of the foam. Okay. I think it's okay, this one. Also, let me just, before I forget, add a reflection plane here. 
traction control, I mean. Okay. Okay. Now let's continue adding materials. Here I want this to be white. Leave it about here. Gloss remove. I'm gonna add a little bit of weathering as well. Let's see. Until we see this more pronounced edges. Yeah. Okay. This stone will be, let's see. Maybe darker. Yep. Remove the gloss, the reflection as well. Increase the weathering. Because in this case, you see that we get these um, edges like this. And I think it really gives you a more cartoonish look. And we can increase this. Okay. Let's continue. We can go to this wall here and make it white. This it's fine. It's super reflective, so let's reduce. For this one, let's leave it actually about here. Yeah. And let's add a little bit of weathering, but just a little bit. Now I'm gonna copy this material and I'm gonna paste it here. Paste. Okay. I want to increase here a lot the edges like so. Okay, now let's go to this one, can be. And the same thing, let's just paste the color. Uh, actually reduce here the gloss and maybe mm, a little bit darker. Like this is fine. Here I'll have some weathering uh, of wood, uh, weathering. Okay, like this is good. Also, I'll add some foliage. So let's see. Um, oops, actually, ground level. Just increase the ground level. About. Yeah, like this is fine. Uh, leaf size, let's reduce this. Okay. Uh, lips type. Let's do this one for now. And let's see the spread of set. Okay. Okay, I think like this, it looks nice. Now let's go here to the door and Put it uh, a dark blue. Let's see. Uh, <clears throat> like this. Reduce the gloss, reflection as well. And uh, let's add a little bit of weathering, of wood weathering, and increase the edges. Okay. Now let's copy this material as well to this window. Okay, and paste. What else we can add this here? This fence. Okay. Maybe this as well. And this ones. Okay. Can add here as well. But in this case, we will remove the weathering and we will increase the reflection and the gloss. Like this. We can add weathering back, but uh, as, a, as a stone. Just slightly. Actually, this one is better. Just a little bit. Okay. This one, let's just make it a. Uh, Standard, reduce the gloss like this, and let's leave it about here. Now, let's see this uh, vase here. Let's make it uh, actually, let's paste this material and reduce this, make it stone. Okay, a little bit 
lighter. Now this one, let's make some dark brown color. Like so, reduce everything of gloss and reflectivity. Can add a little bit of weathering. Yeah. Let's copy this one here. Okay. Now on this one, you can go standard and let's say, reduce here as well. Actually, I think like this is fine. I'm just gonna add a little bit of weathering. Okay, actually let me see what will happen if you put this. Nah, remove it. <laughs> okay, now let's go to these leaves here and uh, let's add a standard, same thing. Let's select the color. I think like this, it's fine. Glossiness about here. Okay, I'm gonna copy and paste it here. For this one, I'm gonna change the color. Okay. I'm gonna paste this color here. Actually here we can add some weathering as well this so we have some more contrast between these uh, leaves here let's put as well this one green but add this contrast actually let me see which one is better let's flip this one let's copy this material and let's go here to the palm tree and paste it Sure about the color of this palm tree. Let's leave it like this for now. I'm gonna copy this bark material and paste it here. Just gonna remove the weathering. Okay, increase the edges here. change here okay I think it's better like this these little stones here we can just paste this material and now remove a little bit uh, let's make it like a gray color this one let's try a light brown color this one and add it here as well okay for this one I want to like a metal so let's make it dark and increase this and reduce this part edges increase okay and weathering of the uh, aluminum Okay, now this stone here, go to standard, make it darker, reduce the gloss and reflectivity, add some weathering, okay, edges as well, uh, let's see which color, yeah, like this is fine, I think we just lost here some material, it's no problem, let's just here okay now let's see color for this maybe something some dark brown and uh, as for this let's make it like a red 
actually this is fine. some white color like this. okay this ones will be white as well increase the edges and the weathering okay and just missing this part here which will be some brown color Increase the edges and reduce this, reduce this, maybe darker. Okay. Just check if missing anything. Ah, the stairs. So the stairs, I'm just going to copy the same wall and put it here. Same material as for this as well. Okay, now ah, the windows, let's try a standard and colorization at about 0 0.5, let's make it like a blue color, increase the glossiness, let's see, okay, let's try like this. And let's put it a little bit of emission. This is too much, just a little bit. Now let's go to the render. Uh, and ah, before that, I want to tell you that I have a Lumion render course. It's an in-depth course in which I'm showing you all the techniques I use to achieve high quality renders with Lumion. I'll leave a link to it in the description below this video. So now going back to the render so we have here this so you can already tell how this will look it's already looking good but we need to remove um, some things here so i'll remove this chromatic aberrations and depth of field as well now sharpen all increase to about here exposure let's leave it like it is this i will decrease about here i will increase the vibrance since it's a cartoonish image, I like to be more vibrant colors. This I will decrease and increase this. Okay, let's leave it like this for now. Reflection, it's okay. Let's just put it normal for now. Skylight, just increase a little bit. Give it this, leave it at high for now. Shadow, increase the brightness of the shadow. And this as well and uh, everything else it's fine let's see what we can add here let's bring real skies let's see this one no prefer oops this one Okay, I think like this is nice. It's giving some some parties in shadow now that it's lit. So let's leave it as it is. Hyper light, I will decrease about here. Let's see. From here, nothing. Nothing here. Here I want the bloom, okay, like, maybe like this, okay, let's take a render of this and see how it looks. Okay, we need to fix some things here, let's uh, go back, first the bloom, uh, it's too much, let's leave it just about here, then let's go here. So let me just see one thing. Hmm. Okay. I want to change this water. Yeah. 
So increase this and it's for the color, maybe lighter as well. Hmm. Let's see another type of material, what we can do here. Okay, let me decrease again this. Okay, let's go here back and let's see. Color. Okay, let's try this one. Now, what else? This part, I think it can be more reflective. Let me copy this material here. Let's see how it looks. Yeah, I like it better. Gives more contrast with the, with the white. I want to add something here to give more interest. Let's add a light here. So here, let's set a spotlight. Make it lower. Move it a little bit like this. Okay. Now decrease the brightness and let's put the color like a orange one. Okay, now I think we need as well to change a bit this color here. And what else we can do here? I want this to be more shining, so like this. Okay. And reduce as well the weathering. Okay. I think this part here is too dark put it more more vibrant just a little bit more okay think this contrast between the blue and orange it's nice and this blue is too dark let's make it lighter okay maybe we can copy to these chairs and this table Oh, here it's too much. Let's make it darker. Okay. Okay, let's try another render. Let's see how it looks. Mm -hmm. This light is much better now. But uh, let's see here the materials again. What we can do here. So, yeah, this is better this it's fine now foam just a little bit here don't see much oops glossiness let's see the difference I like this it's fine yeah I think this one is much better now wave scale let's see Okay, let's leave it about that. Now this material here, let's uh, see the glossiness a little bit less. Let's leave it about that. Increase a little bit the 
color the white okay and this here let's see if we can change the type of lips to something yeah I think the green will look better let's just we already have here some um, red parts I think it's enough we can even make them pop a little bit more like, the, like this yep yeah much better now this one as well more vibrancy in the, in the colors um, what else we can do this one I think it's fine and this one like this okay and this rocks maybe a lighter Mm -hmm. let's leave them about there so now let's go back to the render okay actually just to confirm here this material okay let's leave it about there so let's take a new render now and let's see how it looks the changes Okay, I like it better, but uh, we need more light. So let's just go here, exposure. Let's increase about here. And in the shadow, let's uh, increase a little bit more as well. Actually, in the sky, light, like this. Let's put this to the maximum now. Let's see the difference. Okay, now it's looking much better. So just want to do some couple of things here. I want to decrease this here, these two. Uh, the color it's too similar to this uh, pavement here. So let's just go here again. And let's see, decrease about here. Okay, and here let's go to the reflection and go here add one two and uh, here here and here and i add one on this side as well okay let's put this to high and let's take another render let's see Okay, I think this uh, is looking nice, this render. And uh, I just want to do one last thing to this material. Let's go here. Uh, colorization is fine. Actually, let's go to the render first. see here mm, it's too much already oh let's try this as well just a little bit Okay. Okay, now let's take another render. I just want to go first to the put this in normal to the exposure and increase just a little bit more. 
reflection high again. Just think my scene is a little bit too blue. Just go to color correction and the temperature, move it a little bit here. The tint as well. Okay. And now let's just uh, render the final image. And here's the final result. I just adjusted the color correction a little bit in Photoshop and the background color. That's it for today. I'll leave a link in the description below this video so you can download the Lumion stylized scene. If you like this video, give me a thumb up, subscribe and click the bell button to get notified when I publish my new videos. By the way, you can check my other Lumion videos here and there. And I'll see you in the next one.